In this video, we're going to look at the incredible, quiet, calm heel action of Patrick Rogers through the ball. So let's do a full swing. It's much easier to watch Patrick Rogers compared to, say, JT Post and Danny Lee and John and Tony Finau and the guys. So let's watch this in, in uh, real speed. This is actually a hole in one swing he made. Let's look at it again, the heel action. Now we'll go slow. I first noticed this guy watching ESPN Plus. We can really watch all the swings real, real careful and slow and repeat them and really see what these guys do. So let's watch him here. Back he goes. And now through impact. Look at him getting close to impact. At impact. Look at his right heel. So he's through impact. Now you can see the divots coming up. And you can see his right heel still on the ground. Still on the ground. <laughs> so... Do you have to do this? No, but lots of pros do. Lots of pros also have their left heel off the ground, but when they do this, they've got no forward momentum associated with it. So if you watch Patrick, Patrick's move through the ball, he is just like every other pro, they are rotating. And, and so their body rotation and momentum is basically toward the target and to the left, sort of backwards. Compared to amateurs, they have forward momentum and they move onto their toes. So we amateurs need to back up from the ball based upon our rotational movement skills so we don't stand up during impact and so that we stay off of our toes. And Patrick Rogers just gives us another example of how to dynamically swing from the heels. I can't, I can keep my heel flat at times, but I just don't have the ability to like I mean, look at this lateral bending. Look at this position here at impact. Now, it takes place in like a fraction, fraction of a second, right? So trying to like teach yourself to move like these guys based upon uh, static positions is, is ridiculous. This, has, this takes place in less than a third of a second from top of backswing into, into impact. But you can see how much laterally, lateral bend he he has, particularly as he gets through the ball, is what? There we go. Look at this lateral bend. Oh, my God. I've shown multiple videos of me. I mean, I look like you know a stick man compared to these guys, as do most other of us amateurs, which is why we need a different strategy than the pros. Compared to the pros who can address the ball with their arms hanging down the way Patrick does and most other pros and amateurs do, these guys get their body out of the way Whereas we amateurs should just get our body out of the way by setting up further away from the ball to quote unquote clear our hips at address and then learn to stay off of our heels, which is what all of my videos and my book is about. So if you have an interest, you can check out the other videos and uh, there's a link down below also to, uh, to, to check out the Amateur Golfer's Dilemma book if you have an interest.